Let's uh, meditate with Pastor Ertis Saturday, August 5th, 2020. We are meditating according to the Scripture Union program for Bible reading. And we use the 2020 Bible reader. The today passage is Acts chapter 7 verse 54 Druf chapter 8 verse 3 Acts 7 54 8 3 The main topic is the murder and uh, the burial of Stephen. We will have uh, to answer some questions from uh, the Bible reader. The first one is Does this reading passage teach me something about? God the Father, God the Son, or God the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Is there an example to follow or not to follow in this Bible reading passage? Which verse appeals to me the most? For my prayer, is there anything that God shows me? Whom do I have to repent of? Whom to believe and obey Him? Why thank God and praise Him? For which to formulate my praise to him or for which uh, to formulate uh, my request. Our address, if uh, you want to follow us, it's uh, our website www.eglisedoxadeo.com Follow us on uh, Facebook, Doxadeo Lushi. Lushi uh, is uh, L U S H I. We are also on uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube, Doxadeo Lubumbashi. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this time to come in your presence and to hear from you, to hear your good word. We ask you to bless this time, to fill us with the Holy Spirit and uh, to teach us. Bless everybody. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Welcome to this uh, devotional time and may God bless you richly. We will uh, start at uh, the verse 54. When they heard these things, they were enraged and gnashed their teeth at him. It's uh, about uh, Stephen. Stephen was uh, in trial before the Sanhedrin, the Jewish uh, High Council court. And uh, 
he was uh, describing the whole story of uh, the people of uh, Israel. In this place, when Stephen accused them to not follow God, to refusing to recognize that uh, Jesus was the son of God, the womb, the one who God sent to save his people of Israel and all the mankind, the Sanhedrin was not uh, happy. And uh, as they always resisting to the Holy Spirit, they did not accept to hear what uh, Stephen was uh, telling them. In the verse 55, Stephen was uh, filled with uh, the Holy Spirit and uh, he said to them that he confirmed to them that uh, he is seeing the heaven is opened and he is seeing Jesus, the Son of God, the Son that the Sanhedrin put to death, he is in the heaven, in the right place of God, and he is ready to accept the sacrifice of uh, his uh, witness, his uh, Matthew, Stephen. He was standing up and ready to accept uh, the sacrifice of Stephen with uh, ovation. For the Sanhedrin, this was uh, a blasphemy. The blasphemy is uh, to speak uh, irreverently against uh, God. And as he was saying that the Jesus they put on death is in the right hand of God, he is uh, standing and uh, ready to accept the sacrifice of uh, his uh, witness, Stephen, they yelled at the top of their voices as an ambulance. They yelled with uh, the loud voices. They covered their ears and uh, together rushed against him. They dragged him out of the city because they could not put someone or death in the walls of the city, they dragged him out and started stoning him. As uh, the area of Jerusalem was stony, it was uh, very easy for them. They escaped. They did not judge Stephen, but uh, they were ready to put him in death by stoning him. When he was uh, stoned, he was uh, praying as uh, Jesus, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. You remember that Jesus on the cross gave his spirit to his father and here we can see that stephen did the same thing the second thing as jesus it's uh, in uh, the verse 60 stephen said that with a loud voice lord do not all this sin against them 
as his master Jesus. And there is something in the verse 58. No, the verse 58, we can read, they dragged him out of the witnesses like the garment at the feet of a young man named Saul. When uh, they stoned Stephen, he died. But uh, certain version of Bible call it uh, he slept. Not died, but he slept. Because he has the one who have the life, the, the life inside him, Jesus. This is why the beloved brother and sister has to just sleep, not die. In the chapter 8, there is someone, Saul, you know him from the verse 58. He started to persecute the church. And when uh, he started that, it was a big persecution for the church. This is why, except the apostles, everybody fly out. When they were going out to escape the persecution in uh, Jerusalem, they were going with uh, the word of God. They were sharing the word of God. It was from this persecution, it was a bad thing, but God turned it to a good thing to spread out, to spread everywhere his word to save the word, to save the mankind. This Saul according to the writer of uh, uh, this book, Luke, he said that uh, when Stephen was stoned, the witnesses put the garment, laid the garment at the feet of Saul. This is to say that uh, Stephen was in the court, in the Jewish court. He was a faithful witness of Jesus. He shared his faith on Jesus in front of this court. He took this opportunity to share his faith on God to tell everybody who was Jesus, who is Jesus. And Saul was there in the court. This Saul, we know him because he is the most important writer of the big part of the New Testament. He heard the testimony of Stephen and when he was going to Damascus, this is, uh, we will see at uh, the chapter 9, he encountered the Lord just uh, a, a few miles far from uh, Damascus. And he became most of the fervent followers of Christ. It's from the testimony he heard in the court when Stephen was saying. Stephen was a good follower of Christ. He died like him. He lived like him. He prayed before dying like Jesus. It's a good example 
for you and me to follow. Now, can you please share your faith? Take every opportunity God gave to you to share your faith on God, on Jesus, because he is the Savior and the love of everybody. But the first step is to accept him as your personal Savior, as your personal Lord. If you accept him, he will change your life. But people have to know that Jesus saves. Jesus wants to use your mouth. Jesus wants to use your body to testify, to share with other people that uh, him, Jesus, uh, loves them and uh, he wants to save them. Take every opportunity God is giving to you today. May God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your word. We thank you because of the Holy Spirit in us. He will give us opportunity to share our faith on Jesus. We pray that every man, every woman who did not know you can know you now when he is watching this video to accept Jesus as his personal Savior and Lord. This is for you who did not accept Jesus, but you desire now to become a follower of Jesus, let's pray with you. Lord Jesus, I accept you in my life. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord and I believe in my heart that you can save me. Amen. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your prayer. May God bless you. Have a nice weekend. Our address www.eglisedoxadeo.com on YouTube and Twitter Doxadeo Lubumbashi on Facebook Doxadeo Lushi. Shalom, shalom.